Welcome back to my Let's Play for Wild Arms 4, and I suppose we'll try and break this, so I'm guessing we'll be denied. Yeah, I thought so. Well, if nothing else, I guess we can move forward, you know, into the balls of the ship, because I'm assuming there's a boss battle coming up here. Man, we'd like to speak to the person in charge. Don't want any bloodshed, or at least any more than we have to have here, folks. So if you release us, there just won't have to be any trouble. Got it. No need to bother a tent with this. They may be aggressive, but they're only children. It's nothing we can't handle. Oh, how wrong you are. Because you're a bunch of incompetent buffoons. But you know, if you want us to kick the crap out of you, all you had to do was ask. I'm more than happy to teach you how powerless you really are. Ah, uh, that's not gonna help. Okay, first things first. Die. Thank you. Maybe I'll give that a try. Well, I can blast someone, I guess. I won't kill anyone with this. Oh well. I'm pretty confident in everything from the neck up. Well, it's glad you got confidence in your face, because I don't. Sadly, we really can't do much from here. Besides offering a little healing support. Our guard is strong. I really don't believe you on that one. But here, let me finish this guy off. Let's see. Um, no, no, we gotta go with this. Haha. <laughs> Time to intrude, people. Well. Oh. Time to move and attack. And I think we'll go after the sword trooper first. And you. I can't believe they got the better of us. Why are you so surprised? Yeah. How can these kids be so strong? We eat our veggies, okay? We're like Popeye the Sailor Man. We'll see how you fare against Lieutenant Sight. He'll teach you a lesson. I'll admit, that's kind of a cool name. Like Death Scythe. He better be building a scythe, or I'm gonna call foul game. Lieutenant Scythe is a member of the elite Rionac forces, and the legendary Crimson Noble. You'll need more than a strong will and luck to beat him. Well, we didn't need luck to beat you. Eh. I know, I know, they're nowhere closest to the elites, you know? Crimson Noble? It's just one same thing after another! Crimson Noble? An old race spoken of in legends and fairy tales. They look like regular people, but they're said to be far more powerful. In other words, they're a race of vampires, which means I inherently hate them. Gosh darn vampires. They're everywhere. Ugh. Hate vampires. Yeah, yeah. I think they really exist. It's kind of crazy. We pump it full of lead until it doesn't get up again. And then we burn it with fire. Or there's that, I suppose. You got a point. I'm just not sure we're going to really have a choice in the matter. Oh, what's this? Um, currently being held at Ranak Base. Solar arrangements were made to run the Silver Star Express, so please check on the condition of the tracks leading to Garadi Leon. Captain Lambda himself will be personally handling the escort of the prisoners, since delivery of the Heretech Engineers to the High Council is a task of utmost importance. Okay. Seeing Donuts in the post war era, the Tories that still maintain military power begin skirmishing with one another. Some countries focus their energies on taking weapons banned by a tree, while others assemble immense tank battalions. These countries become the rulers of Fagaya. Did one leader emerge victorious upon this world? The answer is no. And what could have possibly prevented these countries of such power to fall in their bid to rule the world? On the night preceding the full-scale deployment of their military might, 
Each of these nations was annihilated. No one knows how or why. Only the scorched earth left behind bears mute testimony to the countries that once existed. A few remaining survivors all agree that an incarnation of death appeared from afar. Was there any truth behind that tale? Death? I don't want to play around with death. I go play Lost Kingdoms 2. Because I got the death card. Someone's a giant scythe. Tend to like it. Huh. Oh well. I really don't care about the rest of this, to be honest, because I hate the Congressional Knights, because they got vampires. Yeah, good luck with that. Catalan has a side of Lance and a shield to fend off enemies, and reporting directly to him, an advisor who oversees the execution of missions. The other ranks are the elite lieutenants, a collection of superhuman agents too dangerous for anyone but Lambda to handle. Each individual is equivalent to an entire fighting force in and of themselves. So, kind of like Morona in Phantom Brave, you know, if you break the game and really overpower. They're the Dark Whisper, Inertial Canceller, Invisible Stalker, Crimson Noble, Baron of Gore, Double Dragoon, oh, we'll just call him Double Dragon, just so we can shove in a reference to a game series I've never even played. <sighs> Together they form the Bryonic Force, a group with will pierce the dark clouds that cover our future and bring forth the light. Actually, I think they'll just doom us in the darkness. They constitute the trump card of the Congressional Knights. Okay, so we can get off here, maybe? I noticed this at the orphanage, but you're really good with these machines, are not? It's pretty amazing how reliable everything above your neck is. Everything below it, though, is kind of substandard. Especially, you know, your, um, gun. But, you know, let's not talk about that. I won't disagree with you on all those points, but you really should choose your words more carefully, Jude. What you just said isn't necessarily a compliment. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> you know, that's not a compliment for yourself either. Lost my mother during the war. Not such an unusual thing in itself, but it's even younger than Jude at the time. Just thought Mom had gone way up into the sky. Maybe my father teach me how to fly so that I could go up and see her someday. That's kind of depressing, man. Quick to lose respect for him, huh? In the confusion after the war, my father was saddled with a debt he didn't even incur. It's always being haunted by the collectors and seeing how close he was, I swore I'd never wind up like him. I wasn't good at physical activity, so I put my all in the studying instead. I wanted an intellect that was as sharp as a razor. Sadly, it still doesn't meet up with um, match up with Nami's. I'm sorry, man. Well, I was going to let anyone deceive me. If it came down to trick or be tricked, I was definitely going to be the first in the first camp. Because I'm no one's chump. And why is it these stories about the past are always so boring? Well, what do you expect? It's a dry history text. If you want to hear some interesting history, talk to someone who lived through it. We located the aircraft, too. Now let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so how far back am I going to have to go to get out of here? That's the question. Oh, there's the door. Sweet. I don't think that was strictly necessary, but we might as well do it anyway, just because we're there. Why not? And we got a train going by again. Gosh darn it. Okay, that's nice and all, but... Need more than that. I spent quite a bit of money on revive items, you know. Okay, re recharge my um accelerate gauge. Come on. I want it full. Okay, one more time, I suppose. I suppose if I hurt, I could have gotten a bit more of a bonus from that, but just didn't think it was worth it. Okay. So is this where we can escape from? Because I'd so love to get off this ship. 
This place is starting to blow. <sighs> now what? We gotta break away to their base again. The scheduled communication is late, sir. Can you open a channel to Scythe? Are these conditions? Could be that. Yes. They've most likely escaped. What's wrong? It's not like you'd be worried. Or is it Scythe, the Crimson Noble, not up to handling this matter on his own? No, I just want to tell him to be careful. Brag Lieutenants possess superhuman combat abilities. You know that as well as any of us, Captain. And most of all, his opponents are mere children. The mere thought that Scythe could lose and wind up looking like a child himself is inconceivable, don't you think? It's precisely because his opponents are children that he needs to be careful. Children be clever, you know. And they know how to meddle. A lot. Stinking metal kids kept solving all my murder crimes, you know. My, that was fast. You know, if I kept an eye on the aircraft, you'd end up here eventually. Yeah, yeah, he is. Mmm, such fresh, succulent children. You look so tasty and sweet. He really is a Crimson Noble. Run! There's no way we can take someone like him on. Huh. He's got a point. I'm sorry, oh, that was Rachel. You know what? We need to change her name to Rachel at some point. I mean, I, I know it's different, but it wouldn't be that far off. And it just stopped throwing me off when I was talking about her, I guess. Yeah, our only means of escape is getting through him. Man, why do I always wind up in situations like this? I swear, my life is like a broken record. Oh, it looked like pixel graphics there for a second. Interesting. Question is, what are we gonna You're do now? You're probably getting bored with this aerial adventure, aren't you? Well, do I have a special treat in store for you? I'll give you a taste of my mastery over the fabric of space on the battlefield. Fabric of space? What are you talking about? That Lieutenant Sight is none other than a Crimson Noble and a master over space itself. This just sucks. Here, let me shoot you. Just to shut you up. I don't like that at all. I don't care what you like or don't like. Oh, too bad. I didn't do anything. Annoying. My flashing blade shall pierce the darkness. Yeah, it will pierce the darkness, all right. This should be interesting. We'll beat the crap out of this guy. The amount of magic welling up in him is insane. Well, good. Just means we have to kill him quickly, then. You can tell. Magic's my specialty. I can't help but sense it. He's beyond inhuman. Maybe he is a crimson. Noble. I thought we were already established that because of the teeth. Gosh darn magic wielding vampires. Or no, it's all about teamwork. I'm sure if we combine our power together. It doesn't matter how many of us there are. We're only human. We don't stand a chance against him. That's what they all said until I killed them all. My, aren't you cute? Feel distortion grip. Uh. Be gone. Oh, area of effect spell. Here, just eat this. And get out of my freaking way. My, aren't you cute? Oh, I'm still okay. And I got warped to a different spot in the battlefield, why not? Here, let me help you out a bit, man. I'm fine, and I couldn't be better. I'll show you the power of a crimson noble. It doesn't really add up to much, I'm sorry. I won't be afraid. Well, he managed to kill two characters with one blow, I'll give him that. I support the guidance. 
Well, let's revive him, I guess. I'll show you the power I guess he's gonna suck our blood again. Be gone. Nope. You know what? Apparently that's not gonna do much. Joint struggle, maybe? No effect, eh? Okay. This is getting annoying. Okay. I guess it might keep us alive for a bit longer. That's all I can ask for at this point, because we're kind of getting the crap kicked out of us. I'll show you the power of a crimson nose. You stop repeating that. You're starting to annoy me. I don't like being annoyed. Good. Well, hopefully this is not to finish you off. Well, it wasn't, huh? Well, here. Eat this and just die. I am nobility, a crimson noble. My, aren't you cute? I won't lose. Gosh darn it. My mastery over the fabric of space allows me to attack or defend at will on the battlefield. Gosh darn cheater. I've no patience for children who defy adults, nor for mere humans who dare to challenge a crimson noble. I hope we get to kill him someday. Because he's a vampire, so I inherently hate them. I know we keep establishing this, but gosh darn... If I want to kill him right now. Drive a stake right through his heart. Don't you dare touch Yuli. I wouldn't dream of it. At least of dealing with women, you know. No intention of causing her any harm. You children are another story entirely. Cause a lot of trouble on my ship. I have no choice but to make you pay for your actions. So how about a little illegal dumping from the sky? Wait, you're a Crimson Noble, aren't you? What difference does it make if he kills us or captures us? Afraid I must decline your offer. If I let you live, there's a chance it might cause problems for the organization later. I'm afraid you're just gonna have to go. Speaking of which, I wonder where she is. I've drained my power and could use a little pick-me-up. My, my. Where do you plan to go? Don't you know? There's nowhere to escape on this ship. Don't tell me you're defending that coward. No. Then what are you doing standing in front of me with that battered and bloody body of yours? Arnaud's not a coward. Well, if he isn't the poster child for cowardice, then who is? Not only did he surrender immediately just to save his own hide, but he was ready to betray you all at the drop of a hat. No! How many times do I have to say it? Our no is not a coward. Our no is our nose, our friend. And friends look out for each other. What in the world?
you so much. Uh, yeah. But how can we escape now? Maybe there are others. Let's go look. Howard. My intellect is the only thing I've got going for me. That may be so, but your intellect alone didn't save us. It was also your heart. I don't know if you'll believe me, but I've always wanted to become a better person and more, more of a man. Hey, your hands, they're really cold. done such a thing you you're the ones that did this you're the ones gosh darn it I guess she really is a bell <sighs> All communications with the Aulia have been cut off. We can't even determine its present coordinates. What should we do? I can't believe this could happen with Scythe, the Crimson Noble. How could he manage to screw it up this badly? Ah oh, yes, I've been mean to speak about that. Scythe isn't actually a Crimson Noble, he just believed he was. I'm guessing Belial is the true Crimson Noble based on her powers there. Well, that's just the way he is, man. Well, the constant urge to drink blood, and eventually he began to believe that he was a Crimson Noble. Think about it. In the old fairy tales, Crimson Nobles never could walk outside in broad daylight. But he's not a Crimson Noble, then how's he able to control the fabric of space? The source of Scythe's power is the woman he keeps at his side, Belial. Unlike Scythe, she really isn't human. By right, sipping Belial's blood, Scythe temporarily gains the power to affect the fabric of space. Conversely, Belial's power is far more powerful than that of Scythe's, you know, being the source of them. If Scythe's ability is to control space, then Belial's power could be described as absolute mastery over it. That's not one of your jokes, is it? This hardly seems to be the proper time for jokes. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. <sighs> Was my explanation satisfactory? Well, they do say women are monsters, don't they? I guess it's not too hard to convince myself that's entirely possible. The problem is that despite the attendance of two powerful members, the progress of the mission has been jeopardized. <sighs> Have the unknown factors introduced a force so strong they can alter the future I saw? If so, we must deal with it immediately. August, I want you to continue investigating the situation on board the Yulia. Understood. Well, I'll arrange for a train to escort the heretic engineers to Gare de Leon. I'll also call a meeting of the lieutenants. The ones that are still alive, at least. I've already arranged for the Silver Star Express, so go on ahead and enjoy your private trip traversing the abandoned tracks. When you say assemble lieutenants, do you mean, well, they're saying to assemble all of them? <laughs> all of them, eh? No, I don't think it's necessary to play our trump card just yet. Understood. I'll see that the summon reaches all lieutenants under my command by the time Kresnik returns. Well, great. Now where are we? We are so screwed. 
You're going to pay for taking my dear scythe from me. Oh, great. She's going to take her time, huh? I don't really have time to suffer like this. If you have complete mastery of time, why don't you just resurrect his sorry butt? <laughs> oh, so you're going to let, you know, us slowly die from being tortured to death, huh? What we got here? Strange machines, huh? Well, I was just hoping for a save feature, to be honest. What's more? Oh, there's one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop here for now. Next time, I guess we can try breaking this. I'm not sure if it'll be possible or not, but we can try. And hopefully we won't get the crap kicked out of us, because I figure you know, we're probably gonna have to get stronger. Because I'm guessing she's going to be a real monster to deal with. Till next time, then. See ya.